The world around us is brimming with angels, a concept thoroughly explored in this book. If God were to unveil the spiritual realm to us as he did to Jacob, who saw a stairway connecting heaven and earth with angels ascending and descending on at Genesis 28, 12, we would be unable to deny their existence. These transcendent beings were created specifically to serve and worship God. Their creation is shrouded in mystery, largely because it occurred before the familiar temporal milestones mentioned in the Bible, such as the creation of the world. As Job 38, 7 suggests, angels were present when the world was formed, indicating their existence predates the physical creation. These magnificent beings, endowed with great power and authority by God, were made before humanity, adding to the enigma surrounding their origins. The precise moment of the angel's creation remains unknown, primarily due to God's nature, which transcends the physical boundaries of time and space that define human existence. Unlike us, God does not require time, space, or creation to exist. He is eternal, existing from everlasting to everlasting Psalm 92. Humans, in contrast, need air, space, and time to live, making it difficult for us to comprehend the eternal nature of God fully. Consequently, understanding the creation of angels is challenging because God operates in a realm beyond our physical constraints. As stated in 2 Peter 3.8, with the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. Highlighting the atemporal nature of God's existence and suggesting that the creation of angels might have occurred outside our linear concept of time. The Bible does not provide a specific timeline for the creation of angels in relation to the events described in Genesis chapters 1 and 2. However, it does suggest that angels were present during the creation of the earth. This is indicated in Job 38.4.7 where angels are depicted as rejoicing at God's creative works. The passage reads, Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footings set? Or who laid its cornerstone while the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy? This scene highlights the significance of angels in the divine order and underscores their role as beings created to glorify God from the very beginning of the universe. Additionally, the book of Revelation portrays angels as worshipers around God's throne in vast numbers, emphasizing their primary purpose as beings of worship Revelation 5, 11, 14. This depiction of countless angels singing praises to God suggests that their creation occurred long before many key biblical events, including the fall of humanity and the establishment of the Garden of Eden. These passages provide insights into the hierarchy and varied roles of angels, from messengers and warriors to guardians and worship leaders, each fulfilling divine mandates. Angels are acknowledged not only for their heavenly roles, but also for their interactions with humans, such as guardian angels assigned to believers and archangels like Michael and Gabriel, who play pivotal roles in significant biblical narratives. Angels serve as intermediaries between the celestial and earthly realms, a role vividly portrayed in various biblical narratives. One prominent example is the angel Gabriel, who announced to Mary that she would give birth to Jesus Luke 1 38. Another is Michael, who is often depicted in spiritual warfare, highlighting the ongoing cosmic struggle between good and evil. This is particularly relevant in the context of the end times, where Michael the Archangel is said to play a significant role. According to Daniel 12.1, Michael will stand up during a time of unprecedented trouble to deliver those whose names are written in the book. This prophecy underscores Michael's vital position in spiritual conflicts and his commitment to protecting God's people. Michael the Archangel is frequently depicted as a powerful warrior in spiritual battles, embodying the dual roles of protector and guardian. His responsibilities extend beyond celestial conflicts, as he is also entrusted with the protection of Israel. Appointed by God, Michael ensures the nation's safety against adversaries, highlighting his role as a vigilant guardian. This depiction emphasizes the protective grace that surrounds Israel under Michael's watchful eyes. Additionally, 
The existence of angels and their roles are deeply woven into theological narratives, particularly concerning free will and moral choice. The fall of Lucifer, a high-ranking angel who became Satan, illustrates the complex theology of angelic existence and underscores the significance of free will among these celestial beings. This narrative enriches our understanding of the intricate dynamics at play within the spiritual realm. There are numerous misconceptions about angels, primarily fueled by portrayals in media, such as films, TV shows, and novels. These depictions often stray far from the biblical truth about angels and their roles. It is crucial to understand the real nature and functions of angels as described in the Bible. Angels are mentioned over 250 times throughout the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, indicating their significant presence and activity. They are shown to move, act, stop, fight, protect, and deliver, playing an essential role in both the biblical narrative and the lives of believers. Ignoring the existence and importance of angels would be a grave oversight. In the Bible, angels are frequently referenced as part of God's celestial army. Often called the hosts of heaven, this concept can be seen in various biblical passages, including the life of Jesus. For example, Matthew 26, 47, 54 recounts how Jesus was betrayed by Judas, and a great multitude came with swords and clubs. This passage alludes to the powerful and numerous angelic forces that God commands. The term Lord of Hosts, which appears often in the Old Testament, translates to Yahweh Sabaoth in Hebrew, meaning the Lord of the heavenly armies or the God of the heavenly hosts. The New International Version NIV of the Bible translates this as Lord Almighty. Emphasizing the immense power and authority of God's angelic army, Reflecting on this imagery helps us appreciate the incredible power and majesty of God's heavenly forces. In the Gospel of Matthew, a pivotal moment occurs when Judas approaches Jesus, greeting him with a kiss and calling him Master Jesus. Addressing Judas as friend questions his intentions even as the authorities arrive to arrest him. At this tense moment, one of Jesus' followers draws his sword and strikes the servant of the high priest, severing his ear. Jesus intervenes, instructing the disciple to sheath his sword, warning that those who resort to violence will themselves be destroyed by it. He then poses a rhetorical question, asserting that he could appeal to his father for more than 12 legions of angels to defend him, but chooses not to, so that the scriptures may be fulfilled Matthew 26, 47, 54. This passage, especially Matthew 26, 53, underscores the immense power that Jesus had at his disposal during his earthly ministry. A legion, in Roman military terms, consisted of at least 6,000 soldiers. Therefore, 12 legions would amount to at least 72,000 angels, indicating the vast heavenly resources available to Jesus. This is a significant illustration of his restraint and commitment to fulfilling God's plan by choosing not to summon these angels, Jesus highlights his obedience to the scriptures and his role in the divine narrative of salvation. This concept of a legion is further exemplified in Mark 5, 9, where a man possessed by a legion of demons signifies the capacity of the human spirit to harbor immense spiritual forces. Understanding the sheer scale of a legion emphasizes the extraordinary power Jesus chose not to employ, reinforcing his submission to God's will. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.